Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and this is the TV Be Gone. This is an evil little project that'll let you turn off any TV from up to 150 feet away with the press of a button. It is a modern classic of do-it-yourself electronic projects, and if you've ever thought about building one, I'm gonna show you what to expect. Here's the version of the TV Be Gone kit that I got from Make Magazine. And really, here's the first thing you should know. It's exactly the same as the one sold by Adafruit. It's the same board, same components, the same $20 price, so get whichever one you want. The box includes almost everything you need, plus a piece or two you don't, which I'll get to later. One thing you won't get in any version of this kit is a set of printed instructions, so know that ahead of time. It's kind of a shame because it's a good project for beginners and there's really only about 12 steps to the whole thing. A friendly little fold-out sheet would be a nice touch, especially for a kit like this. So you'll need to find instructions online. You can get them from either makezine.com or Adafruit. I found the Adafruit version much more detailed, almost overwhelmingly detailed. Okay, now back to the build. Here's what I love about this project. For beginners, it is like a sampler platter of components. You get to know your way around LEDs, resistors, transistors, integrated circuits, two types of capacitors, a momentary switch, you get to wire up a battery pack, and the printed component outlines clearly indicate where everything should go. It's also very forgiving for sloppy soldering since the back side of the board gets glued down to the battery pack. No one is gonna see your newbie blobs of solder. On the flip side, I used this project to practice making immaculate solder joints and then realized later that it was a total waste when I glued it up. Now, it does bother me that the circuit board also includes outlines for components that either aren't needed or are intentionally not included. I'll save my rant for the blog post here, but let's just say that in my opinion, it can be a little unnerving, especially for a beginner, to have a finished project that looks incomplete. I'll also mention that there's a section here for the ICSP headers. This takes up a sizable section of the board, but there's very little info for beginners on what it is and how to use it. The short answer, from my point of view, is that you don't need it. Though if you're like me and you don't like naked spots on your board, by all means, solder in those headers. Now with the project all soldered up and the battery pack attached with some hot glue or double-sided tape, you've got a discreet little one-button universal remote that you can hide in your hand. I tested it out on my TV and it took about 20 seconds to cycle through the long list of codes before it got to my brand, but it worked. Just don't expect it to act quickly. I tried it on a few friends' TVs and it worked there too. Now, I like this project. Even though I have my complaints, I keep this project on my top five list of maker kits and it's probably going to be there for a long time. Because here's why this project is so cool. It gives you a superpower. It's the kind of thing that a James Bond or a Tony Stark might carry on them, right? And that's really important, especially if you're trying to get your kids interested in making, your teenager interested in making, they don't wanna spend time making an LED blinking on Arduino, right? Or making a robot that's just gonna follow a line or go around in circles. But if you give them this kit in a few hours and explain to them that the end result is something that's going to drive their friends or their parents crazy, that's hard to resist. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the TV Be Gone. It is a fun $20 kit that is great for teenagers or anyone who loves a little anarchy. If you want more reviews of great projects and kits, you can go to makerprojectlab.com. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. I highly recommend that. And you can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Donald on Twitter. Let me know if there's any other great projects and kits that I should be paying attention to. Okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.